Yeah, 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 man. Episode 72, special birthday edition, man. D Thorn. That's yo, it's, me. it's my, my birthday, man. I don't know what you heard, man. I don't know what you heard, man. Happy birthday, Clooks. Appreciate you, bro. Got the balloons in the back, man. I ain't going to the store. Yo, I ain't even going to the gym last night. I don't know if you hear my voice. I just went to sleep, bro. <laughs> yeah, I just man. went to sleep, man. Because that was my plan. Go to the gym, go to the store. Uh, now, how I feel, man? You feel good. Don't age yourself out. But how does it feel? <laughs> Nah, I feel great, bro. Another year of life back in the day. I'm like, oh, I'm getting old. Nah, I need to get old. I don't mind a couple gray hairs coming soon. Who cares, though? If, um, if, if it they only do sucks come. if you ain't getting older and wiser. You feel me? That's what I'm excited about, bro. Over the last year and a half, I grew. So um, give me another 50, 60, 70 years. Oh, yeah. We about to own the Miami Heat, bro, and a couple NFL teams. Give me, give me 70, 80 more years. It, oh, we lit, bro. Yeah. That's the plan. The plan is to get older and wiser, dog. That, that's mm -hmm. for real, for real. On to a goal. You're just getting older. You're getting out of that. <laughs> for real, bro. I'm, I'm trying to be an entrepreneur. Like, same how we were talking about Meek Mill. He was complaining, like, oh, man, I don't know if I want to do this rap thing. Now it, it makes sense, bro. Especially with, uh, he said he never got paid for music, probably other than touring. So he, he Yo, probably got some... I'm starting to hear a lot of that, bro. A lot of artists ain't getting paid by the actual uh, label since they got signed. Yeah. That shit crazy, man. I don't know. I ain't never signed a major rap deal like that. Only signed sang indies and stuff. But um I think I think that I think um I forgot who was talking about it. I think it would be coming most of them. And it ain't right, I'm just saying. Those are uh, the recoup. The labels be taking forever to get the recoup because they charging everything up the A. So, Basically, they they taking our loan same way how we'll get a loan if we want to get a vehicle. Oh, yeah. But our uh, loan is payable. They shot you that 10 milli, huh? Yeah. Oh, you thought it was free, huh? Yeah. That studio time, those private jets, like, I listened to, like, academics break down. You know, he's like an insider now, so he broke down what a three to five million budget is. Those private jets, those studio time, that promotion, but then you you clank and you sell fifty thousand. So now you in, you pretty much gonna be in the red for the duration of your contract. If they spent three to five million, but you only generated like one million, mm -hmm. you're stuck. So you ain't you're never getting paid. Yeah, you in the red until you get a Drake type of song. So yeah, man. He, I guess he want he want to get those audits, man. Hopefully he get that situated. He got Jay Z, Rock Nation. Maybe they can come to. Some I'm, sure, I'm pretty TV. sure they'll figure. Your show, bro. Just Meek Mill has become a big act. You know what I mean? They, yeah. they got you, man. Um, but it's just hard out here being. It's hard out here being an artist, yo. Like, it's just either it's people hating on you, people want like, you know what I mean? Or the, the labels not you're not getting what you what you think you're supposed to get out of the labels. And another thing, people are plotting on you, man. I think some fishy here. You don't throw it in some luxury apartment building. Got his hard drive misplaced and over 200 songs on it, bro. If I lose 10 songs, that hurt my soul, especially if it's the dials. Yeah. No. Imagine if I would have lost out of Joe 100 points. You know what I mean? He can't oh, lose yeah. that. No BS, though. Not to change subject. People really still hit me up sometimes. I don't know her. I deserve 100 points. I, I'm not even kidding. So that was catchy, bro. Did that. I'm on point. <laughs> nah, so yeah, no, nah, we, we got some records. Like I said, we didn't lost some stuff, but to for Thug in his position, like that's Dude, that's his contract right there. That's his contractual agreement. Them 200 songs could be five albums. He could complete yeah. his deal with that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully they hopefully find some it. hopefully some cheapo scammer that just want a couple of dollars find it. Cause you can pay them off. Yo, here's a quick 10 G's. Get my hard job back, loser. You know what I mean? The only thing is, he, he gonna risk those songs being leaked. That All yeah. they gotta do is copy and paste it to their computer or another hard job. Oh, here you go, thug. Appreciate the 50 to 100 grand, but I'm still gonna leak your stuff. <laughs> so it's like, he, hopefully right. it's a reputable human being that just, all right, take your little reward money, bro, and, and keep it moving. Don't leak my I didn't stuff. even think about that, bro. 
Yeah, no, nah, it's when you lose, when you lose like digital property type of stuff like that. Not like he lost a bag, lost a couple of dollars and he can get that back. But those uh, non fungible type of uh, type of situations, oh, it's over. I don't know. It's, and it's not playing with Young Thug name. And you need to stop playing with my dog Bow Wow name, bro. Oh, they playing with Bow Wow. Easy. My, my my top five rappers are Bow Wow, Bow Wow, Bow Wow, Bow Wow. <laughs> oh, who's the fifth? Bow Wow. So, like. Shout out to Dylon. Put some respect on my dog's name, bro. He should yeah, be man. headlining. He should have the most time. He should have. M he's MC Hammer status, man. I'm talking about. Becky, you watched the documentary when, when Hammer was in his freaking heyday. That, that's Bow Wow, man. He, he definitely deserves his flowers. He's a whole legend. People like, he kind of, he kind of, like, for the people who didn't know, he kind of messed it up for the, you know, because of um, the little stunts he pulled at one point. But he's a legend. He connected through Snoop, through who else? Like, through Chill Big Night, people. the whole, that whole era. That like, night. Come on. Era. Like, he's, he's been around since. For a long time, he just young. Well, young, young girl, young OG. Yeah, he's been ninety five. Been in the game about twenty five years, though, realistically. But on a major level, two thousand one, like twenty years on a major. But it's just, yeah, but it's just crazy to me, bro. Like, I don't know. yeah, he gonna join the WWE. All right, y'all, y'all hating on my music career. All right, I'm gonna join the WWE Suplex coming soon. The five oh. foot one, three hundred pound wrestler. Bow, he, no, he got to Yeah, Ray Mysterio. Yeah. Going. What's up? I'm just trying to put him with people that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he ain't, he ain't gonna bulk up like that. He'll be a, a cruiserweight. Yeah, of course. Come on, man. What you think he can be out here suplexing? Uh, uh, uh. uh. Well, let me name some. Bobby Lashley. You think he get on that. He get on that juice, man. He get on that juice, man. Like, hey, anything is possible, bro. He try to make a new career. Unfortunately, that's what. I don't know if that's still going on, but Donda reached a billion streams on Spotify, man. These musicians is. Yeah, that's some more good music. That's some more good music news right there, though. No pun intended. Get it? Good music. <laughs> oh, no, that was club. I, no, I didn't know. I didn't I didn't mean to do it. It just happened. But, yeah, that's some more good music news. Um, so I have to cut you on his uh, billion stream. I just hope you work shit out with, with the artist on his label. Because nobody is really saying that openly. But I, I feel like the only person he really, I don't want to say care about, but the only person who really, like, probably got his attention is, like, push it. Pushing, um, you know what I mean? Not even uh, what's on what name? Not even Lil Sean, Big Sean. Big Sean yeah. No, he don't give like, bro. Come on, man. I'm trying to be nice about this. Even Tiana Taylor, she was kind of like, no. They feel iffy like they about know. her. They they, yeah. they keep they keeping their cool, bro. Because you don't want to. I get it, but bro, they on an the island on their own, bro. Like half the time, I don't even know they like. For for the longest, I didn't even know they were good music. Like not like especially Tiana, Big Sean, I kind of knew. But even so, you don't see Kanye around like it's like Kanye. I don't know. This is what happened when you sign to an artist versus a businessman. When you sign to Birdman, yeah, your contract, yeah, whatever. You get a good lawyer, but you're gonna get put out there. You sign to like a no disrespect, like a Kanye or Eminem or. These people not equipped to run a label. They got other people. They got a. They got the bigger label. They're the subsidiary, so they got the Universals or the Dev Jam overseeing their own label. They're just the mm -hmm. face. I'm gonna just do a couple features, but that's not enough. It's, it's, it's more than a feature and a video look. So when you yeah, sign to an artist versus signing to a business or an actual label, these are the results and the complaints you're gonna get from talented people that might not ever get that look because they were loyal to their friend that they signed to. I don't know, man. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Be your own boss, man. That's the model. Be your own boss. I'm signed to artists, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. What you think about Floyd Mayweather, man, and, and, and fans? You know, he kind of catching some backlash. I guess he didn't want to take a picture um, with a specific type of fan. I, I, don't I don't know. I don't really know the exact details, but I do know Artists do not have to take a picture with everyone. And I also know 
that we must all respect each other. But um, yeah, well, I'm gonna wait and let it develop a little more. But as of right now, I'm saying like you know, a, a, a artist or whoever, a famous person doesn't have to take a picture with you. It'd be nice. It would be lovely, but they don't have to take a picture. They don't have to take a picture. Yeah, realistically, it'd be ideal. Yeah, every fan gets a picture, but if, if you don't want to, you ain't got to. I'm sure you took a million pictures, but of course they're gonna pinpoint that one. Just with oh, yeah. you know, with today's day and age, they going you know it. Bro. It's gonna be pinpointed. So, but as far as artist wise, man, just it's a two, it's not a one way street. It's a two way street. Just be respectful. You know what I mean? If you don't want to do it, hey, not today. <laughs> catch me, catch me another time, type stuff. Two way street, yeah, that's it. But I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see. They trying to cancel Boosie. Nah, he went off on. <laughs> he went off. Went yo, off. I just, yo, I'm, I don't, I didn't see it. I heard what they mentioned. I heard yeah, they yeah. kind of read it off. Yo, he got baited right into that. That's the sad part. Lil Nas X is the king troll, bro. Yeah, king it's troll. troll. Like, like, he knew how to pull him right out. Like, do I necessarily agree with what, 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 what was saying? Nah. But he knew how to provoke that man to get him to that point. And now this man going to get canceled most likely. Uh, I don't see it just because he's not major, major. He's going to pretty much stay in his zone, whatever oh, yeah, he yeah, is. Yeah, he's yeah, that yeah, hood yeah. legend. Uh, I'll release mixtapes from the trunk, albums from the trunk of the car. So he's that type. Gonna rock with, people are going to rock with me wherever I go in every ghetto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's yeah. really how it is. People love this man. Special shout out to Marcus. Uh, Marcus uh, uh, G. And uh, special shout out to Rashad. Yo. Hey, yo. Appreciate y'all listening. I told y'all to listen in, man. Um, I like to um hopefully I'm not I'm not jumping or if you have something else clues do that but oh, no, I like I'm, to get into I'm a good. little I like to get it get into a little bit of a uh, crypto talk because they, they've been asking me what's going on people saw that crazy jump they like what's going on blah 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 if you could take this moment clues and give them a quick because they really listening these people and probably more who listening on the slide because they, but they don't want to say hey can you help me out because they too proud Yep. But could you give them a little um on um yeah what's worked for you in the market and how to do that how to do that wallet thing real quick if there's an easy quick way to oh um, yeah no I'm glad I'm glad you brought that up just I'm still learning stock, the game talk, stock, talk, stock, 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 stock crypto talk, stock, talk money talk man now basically the first thing I want to talk about when someone says this coin's going to fifty cents a dollar five dollars. A lot of people are not factoring in the circulating supply. And a, a way that um, that I'm learning now is someone gives you a price like, for example, Dogecoin to $5. So you got to multiply that prediction of $5 times the circulating supply. That's how you get the market cap. Now, compare and contrast. If Bitcoin market cap, let's just say it's um, one or uh, two trillion. So you mean to tell me Dogecoin is going to have more money than the whole entire world at, let's just say, some astronomical number like 50 trillion, 100 trillion. So kind of for people out there, don't get don't get pawned into thinking that every coin just because it's 0.0000 that it can get the one penny. It can get the two pennies. You got to do a little bit of math and have some realistic expectations. Right, so, right. So definitely uh, there's a lot of videos out there, like reputable people on YouTube tutorials on how to calculate uh price predictions and as far as the wallets you know if some people they have a coin base they have a bitmart a qcoin basically you're just copy and pasting from one address to the other exchange so if you want to go from coinbase to bitmart you want to send your coins from coinbase to bitmart you copy and paste the uh the wallet address from bitmart and the memo or however you're trading, it, you'll see it'll be self-explanatory. Just copy and paste from BitMart to Coinbase, from QCoin to Coinbase. It's just it's basically like you're sending money to someone's bank or cash app. You got to get their credentials in order to send. So just think about it like that. You're just so getting the wallet, credentials. The wallet and that memo 
would basically be your uh uh uh, uh just for just for a rough uh, uh, analogy banking that would be the bank account number and the routing number pretty basically. much yeah if you want to right. i'm just trying yeah. to simplify for for the guys who like because this is a lot of information going right now um mm -hmm. and and the bitmark pretty much is like one of the only few ways to get access to these international crypto right Am I yeah, it, it, it could like be international uh, coins that are kind of like low market cap. That's not on the major exchanges like a Coinbase okay. or FTX or Binance. These mm -hmm. smaller exchanges like Gate.io, KuCoin, BitMart, Hotbit. There's so many of them. There's hundreds of exchanges. You might want that one specific coin that's not on Coinbase. So you go to these other exchanges. Just be, you know, be safe with it because you just never know what all these other exchanges, these uh, start by night exchanges, just got to right, be mindful. Right. And if you're able to move those coins into like a, a ledger, one of those, uh, it's like, think of it like a USB, a portable USB, like hard wallets. You can always secure your coins that way if you don't want them on these platforms and you know, possibly risk losing them or being locked out, get, get you a ledger or get you some type of hard uh, wallet. And uh, mm -hmm. that's a, a great way to secure. I haven't done that yet, but I'm definitely going to look into it. But oh yeah, this is, the, this is, this is the more you acquire, the more you got the more the more stake. So yep. I'm looking in that, I'm look I'm looking in it, into that too. Like fuck around and catch me, you know, just mad. I'm burning down, but my sister. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, I got so multiple yeah, exchanges. I don't keep everything in one when it comes to uh, cryptos. So I might have a, a handful of exchanges, so I'm never just all the way done if, if something unfortunate would happen. Hopefully not to set up your mm -hmm. passwords, two-step authentication. So it ain't, don't yeah, make it easy. Yeah, I like easy. that. Every time it asks me, you got to send me a text message. because yeah, Text messages, email alerts, and you got to confirm. Um, so. Well, that's actually, though, I don't know, since we're talking about wallets, it kind of sparked this question. What do you think about Nerd Wallet, bro? Their their I their IPO is it's about to hit. It's about to um it's about to hit the market. What well, is about to hit? I gotta um, do my research. I haven't I haven't uh heard too much about them on my end, but I know yeah. at first they started out. They're doing more and more, but the original purpose of Nerd Wallet, they were to help compare different credit cards and. You know what I mean? Help you find, you know, let you compare. Kind of like a price line, except oh, for credit okay. cards. And blah, blah, blah. They're doing more now, though. I'm like, I need to I need to read up on it myself. But I just know them for that. Like, helping you compare when, you, when you're applying for a credit card. You're applying for the best one for you. Help you compare. Blah, blah. But they have many functions, especially now. So they're getting the IPO. It's going to hit. I'm going to look at the... Uh, I'm going to look at what's the price range on that. Oh, I might. Cool. I might. I'm going to be something to look into. I'm going to definitely uh, add that to my IPO watch list and follow along and try not to go too yes, crazy sir, yes, on, the, on the initial release. You know how those prices go. Just kind of watch no, them. Yeah, sometimes it works out. A lot of times it don't. Some people buy. We'll see. We'll so. update them on probably the, the next few episodes to see. Give them three crypto you're interested in. I mean, and everything, just to just say, this is a disclaimer. Everything is based on timing. Sometimes you miss the timing, guys. Keep that in mind. Sometimes you miss the timing. That doesn't mean it's the wrong. It's the wrong crypto. The wrong stock. You miss the timing. Wait for your timing. Timing, like, is definitely. But three cryptos, uh, Veracity, V R A. That's the ticker symbol. Uh, we got um, V Chain. V E V chain. Oh, okay. And then we got uh I throw a wild card out there, Telcoin, T E L coin. Yeah, you like that? Um I'm heavily invested in those three projects and uh possibly uh probably buy a house in the next five years with those projects. It's all the waiting game. Don't take my advice, do your own research. Um, what you think about, think about poker now? Polka dot, uh, from what I'm hearing, is is real good. It's all, a lot of them reached their highs already, but in the bear market after this bullish run, it's going to be like a three to four year uh, bearish cycle. From what I'm hearing, so I'm waiting for everything to drop by fifty to seventy percent, 
Oh, yes, sir. And, yes, sir. 2022, 20, 23. So I would advise people to distance. watch. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, just uh, get in. If you just yeah. want to get in for a quick flip, get a couple bucks. But for people that really want to be heavily invested, you missed your opportunity back in July this summer, July 2021. That was when the markets were at a decent correction where you could got in. Yo, yo, yeah, they were, kick, they were kicking out the market. Oh, my God. So Bitcoin was 29 to 32,000. It doubled in three to four months. So that just lets you know where the market's going. But oh, you got those. No, it was bad. Money. It was bad, bro. It was bad. But yeah. But yeah, 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 man. Appreciate y'all watching the special edition of the Real Individuals Podcast. Uh, e Day edition, man. Any yes, last words for sir. him, bro? Y'all give it up for my boy, man. First of all, we he dropped some knowledge and science, as we say. He dropped the math on you. Bro, y'all, 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 y'all give it up for my boy, man. Show him love. Drop him a comment. Drop in that inbox, man. It's my dog's birthday. And he just gave y'all a free game on his birthday. So, you know what I mean? Show love, man. Appreciate Let's you, see. bro. Until next time, peace. Appreciate the B-Day wishes, everybody. Yes, sir.